Okay, so I wanted to do another mod spotlight, but I wanted to um, you. I thought I'd use a video because I think it'll be easier than just trying to share with screenshots. And I'm actually wanted to share two different mods because uh, they're both amazing on their own right, but put together, like they completely change the way I play the game. So I just wanted to share that. The first one is automate. And the second one is Chess Anywhere. And I will put um, the links to both of those in the comments. So um, i give you an example. Here's my, here's my storage shed. And Automate is set up. It's really, really easy. It, has, it is set up so that um, you just put a chest down. And then anything that goes in the chest will then get used, will get, then get pulled out of the chest and put into the machines. And then the machines will then put back in the chest. So, go here, grab some more. Which I could do a chest anywhere, but I don't want to spoil that. Mm, okay. And I do try to keep them a little bit separated because like you never know, um, it's kind of random when you start putting ingredients into a chest that will can be used in multiple machines. So like my butter churn is not with my other animal products because I don't want it. I, I don't. I want cheese. I don't want butter most of the time. So if I were to put five in here, it gets pulled out and immediately thrown in the chest. And then when it's done. It will be put that iron ore or sorry iron bar will be put back in the chest so that's automate which by itself is a huge game changer and amazing <clears throat> but when you combine it with chess anywhere like it completely changed changed the way I play so Let's say I am over here, and I'm gonna, I have to check on my, check on my animals. So I go in, and I have all the stuff to pick up. Got some eggs, lots of eggs to pick up. Oh, there's a duck egg. Let me, there we go. And now I have all these eggs. In fact, I probably also picked up stuff from my other, from my barn, so my inventory is huge and full. I'm going to hit my keybind for chest anywhere, which in my case the default was B. On the right hand side is a list of uh, basically zones or areas. You can change these. You can customize them for each chest. Uh, so farm is my basic one, but the sh big shed is where my my ch my uh, machines automated machines are. So my animal products is where I will put my eggs. And then they will be sucked into the machines and the products will be out and I can pull them out and then throw them wherever I need to go. I can also then go to say furnaces. Let's say I'm somewhere and I realize I actually need some ore. I can throw it in there. Now, of course, it still takes time, so I have to sit around and wait for it. But it's really nice to be able to kind of move things around. Another example of how... Um, very, very convenient it is. If I go into my grandpa's shed and, oh look, I got some ancient fruit. So I'm going to pick that ancient fruit. Oh, look, I also have a sweet jumberry. Okay, so I'm hit B again. Um, in this case, go to farm. So this is all the basic, you know, um, chests on my farm. I'm going to throw my shipping bin. I'm just going to throw the jumberry right into the sh shipping bin. But then if I go to my grandpa's shed, this is, I put these in here. And basically what I've done is it's now in this chest. And then also at the same time, if I had wine that had been come out of the cask and put in this chest, then I would just click seller and I would drop it into this chest. And that cellar is where I have my casks to for um, aging the wine. And then I can pull it out of there 
and drop it, you know, sell it or put it where, wherever I want it to go. It's really easy for me to check on things because once it gets, once it, um, the seller, sorry, once the uh, casks are done aging the wine, they'll put them back in the chest. So I don't have to go down and check periodically, you know, forever trying to wait for these, for the wine to be done. When it's done, it'll just go in here. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I can just basically put everything where I want it to go. Um, my ore, I'm going to put that back in there. My animal products. Um, I'm going to sell my mayonnaise. Artisan goods, I'm going to put my caviar there. Oh, and also some more wool. And then my indoor, I have food goes in there. This is also amazing when you are in the mines. Because even if you're in the middle of the mines and your inventory is full, you can just open it up. Um, and drop everything. But I think the best part is it really allows you to automate everything. You can just move everything around. Um, and it just completely changes. You're not just standing around. You don't spend most of your time running back and forth between the chests and machines or waiting for one machine to be done or wasting time because wasting time because um, you're waiting for one machine to finish. So here, type B, go to my normal farm, and there we go, my inventory is empty. Uh, one side note here, I probably should mention, this, when you see the names of the chests, if you click this little dialog box, this is where you can rename them. So it'll normally say like chest one, chest two, but you can rename it whatever you want, and you can change the category. So that's where you would change what it says on this side here. So there you have it. Um, automate is amazing. Chest Anywhere is amazing. Um, kudos actually to my housemate because I had Chest Anywhere but I had not really played with it and so I was doing a co-op with her and she's like, did you know you could do this? And Because I hadn't found the keybind for it yet but she stumbled upon the keybind so she was the one who figured out how to use that. And so yeah, um, if you have any other mod, um, things you've seen on here that you want me to highlight, most of what you're seeing here is probably... Uh, Stardew Valley Expanded with the Immersive uh, Farm 2, which is my favorite warm farm. It's en enormous, but anyway, um, there you go. Uh, automate and chest anywhere.